Hello and welcome to week two of the Wednesday Night Cyclocross World Championships and I've seen the start list and the hitters are out tonight with a chance to get the striped jersey and I'm not gonna lie I'm not in good shape tonight my stomach is doing cartwheels if that's the saying you get what I mean I'm probably five kilos lighter but I feel empty so there's the excuses but when it's the world champs and the jersey's on the line, you've got to suck it up and pull the pin. Here we go then, the start of the World Champs and the weekly chance to swing the chopper. And this time I knew I needed to get away to a good start because there's a couple of rapid guys that were on mountain bikes. You can see Luke Will just to the left of me. And I managed to actually get a good start, get clipped in and standard me just absolutely pinged it because this first bit this week was a little bit softer looser and a little bit wetter than it was the last couple of weeks we've done it so it was definitely faster on the mountain bike this week there's my top excuse of why the two mountain bikers come charging past but this bit down through here was a little bit softer and the only difference main difference this week was that when we come out to the hurdles we weren't allowed to bunny hop them this week so i was all for this you had to get off dismount and run over the barriers so as we come up here we come towards the barriers and we have to dismount a little bit of cyclocross practice the reason why i was for this was one because to protect the con <laughs> yeah boy i knew that if we had to get off the people on the mountain bike we'd be able to beat me legendary naughty naughty you teasing me you naughty naughty <laughs> And two, I thought it'd be able to give me a little bit of a gap, but we can't ignore this bit of footage here. Ryan is textbook tanking it through. He didn't even pick the bike up. I've not seen anything <laughs> like it. He almost just took the barriers down. I could not leave that bit of, bit of footage out. But so basically, we had a couple of wheel suckers tonight. I'm not gonna lie. I was on the front and the week before, I sucked Ollie's wheel and he dropped me in the last little bit, so I guess this was payback this week. There's not a lot to see for these first two laps because it was a three lap race and they sat on my wheel. The hitters sat on my wheel while I'm putting it out. This is the Conan Quick Steps dream lead out train right now. Mark Cavendish would be sitting at the back and it's licking his lips like, I've got the wheel. I'm at the front selling my soul. For them behind me so that is why this did not go to plan tonight and i'm going to admit the world Cy world champs jersey didn't come home with me because as you can see i'm absolutely ripping it off the front and they're sucking my wheel so jump in straight in lap one up the naughty little climb which burns and i knew i just had to ping it because the two guys behind me were um mark and luke luke is actually got his elite license this year i think for mountain bike xc and mark i'm not sure but he was a bit of a beast as well it's the first time i've ridden with him but up here it was just absolutely full gas you can see that there's the lead out train me pinging it we've managed to gap the next three a bit but I think that was mainly because Ryan was taking out the flipping hurdles and slowing everyone down at the back. But that hurt. So that was lap one. And then it was just more wheel sucking from them. So you don't need to see this bit. This lead out train was just tanking them along, giving them, I reckon it saves a fair few watts. I don't know what, but I might take my other bike next time we do the world champs so i've got power overlay and we can see what power i'm actually putting out through the circuit so same again got to the hurdles dismount jump that it's good fun and good to get some practice in because your heart rate goes through the roof when you have to get off and do a little bit of running but fast forward onto the back end of lap two and i'm still towing them around like a bloody idiot um, and this is where it absolutely changed the game we're coming up this short, sharp hill. I'm on the limit as it is. And I think just about here now, Luke attacks me. And I've just sold soul, giving them the toe of their life. He attacks me here. I'm just giving it everything to go with it. Mark goes round, but I know this next bit suits them. They've got droppers on their bike, well, Luke has. So he's just absolutely pinned it down there and into this next bit. and. I'm dead. I've got nothing. I can't go with it. We're both struggling to go with it. Mark's 
put a better effort in than me, but I was absolutely hanging out. So just here, this is exactly where I blew my load. And that was it, that was game over. If it was a two lap race, I'd have been there or thereabouts, but another lap, so it was literally just clinging on for this and the position stayed the same so Luke took the world championships this week Mark got second I got third then we had Richard I think it was in fourth Simon and Ryan after he whacked down all the barriers in six but a wicked little race and it was absolutely brutal this week like these lads were going absolutely full gas. So on to race number two, and it was a relay. So in pairs, I was partnered up with Tom. So second from the left in this start. He got a good start. Um, I didn't get any other footage because I'm obviously waiting to tap in. So Tom come round in third. Then it was my turn to go. And obviously one lap race at always good fun. Just a chance to absolutely rip the head off it. The difference this time, you were allowed to bunny hop the hurdles. So bunny hop in the hurdles and it was just literally pin it as fast as you can go. So these ones are ones I enjoy because you know the pain is going to be over after what four minutes that's that's my expertise hey sarah a good quick quick stint <laughs> a solid a solid three four minute effort good fun pinged it up the last hill and it really did burn but it wasn't over then this week we then went into cat and mouse which was really good fun so based off our first little bit we were getting set off in like intervals they started at like 30 seconds so you can see Richard's just gone off there in front of me and he got like, I think it was a 10 second lead. And then you were just trying to catch the person in front. I think the first few, I'm not making excuses, we didn't catch the first few people that went off. I think they did have a little bit too much of a gap, but this was the first time they tried this. So it was wicked fun though, because you're always trying to chase someone down. So just down through here, absolutely full gas because I'm trying to catch Richard as fast as I can so same old single track up onto the grass just after the hurdles I could see him and I was like put a little effort in here and I can catch him and I think just before this he had looked over his shoulder and knew I was coming so when I got onto his wheel which was just around this corner here he looked over the shoulder and guess what we got more wheel suckers tonight I saw this coming he looked over and he thought you know what, I'll let him go through and I'll get an easy little ride round here. What a f liberty. I thought he had blown up. Little did I know he was just moving over so I could take the wind again and be the idiot that does the lead out train. So basically just here, if I remember rightly, I see him look over his shoulder. Oh yeah, there I am, lets me go through. And he jumps on the wheel. So last half a lap now, and you can see the guys all up ahead, and I was absolutely hurting now. Richard's still sucking my wheel, getting an easy tow around this grass section. I think it was Ryan and Tom just here, you can see them both. And then just here, I quickly try and dive bomb Tom to get round and try and get on Ryan's wheel as fast as I can, because I know he's not gonna wanna let me catch him up that little climb. So I get past, Tom here and I'm closing on Ryan but I'm on the limit and I think he's recovering a little bit he's, he's toying with me here uh, ready for this last little climb so we come down into the last little climb I'm absolutely hanging out right now after we've done like six laps full gas total and he absolutely rips it up here so I'm just trying to do whatever I can and I'm thinking in my head just go with it just go with it hopefully he'll blow but he didn't he had fair play to him he put it in all the way up um, and I could stay with it but I definitely could not pass him so that was it I managed to I think I started 10th out of the 12 in the cat and mouse and pulled it back to 7th but a wicked night with the GS Mosa crew at the World Championships. And um, I think they were doing a little thing last week, like anyone can come along. So if you're local to the area, if you hit up um, GS Mosa on Instagram, I'm sure they'll be happy to have you come along. To these I mean, as long as you can ride a bike, don't be rocking up on stabilizers because it's quite a techie little course through the woods. But yeah, get involved. It's wicked fun just to ping it with some of the other guys and ladies out there and have a little bit of fun on a Wednesday night 
it's not really the world championships what you know how it is it's a chance to swing the chopper and see what you've got midweek so hit them up if you want to get involved i hope you enjoyed the video um third place this week in the world champs next week i'm going for that striped jersey and the win so i'll see you in the next video